Hey everybody, this is Hatred from AffiliateHustle.com and this is the first of many tutorials on our website and in this one we're going to go over GSA SER. Some stuff I'm going to go over. The first thing being some common misconceptions. Second, my current strategy. Third, my current um, SER settings. And um, lastly, other shit I just think of while I do this. Um, all right, some common misconceptions. The first one being GSA no longer works. Now, I've got news for you guys. GSA is still viable. Everybody saying that GSA no longer works um, is probably still applying the same strategy they did back in like 2012, 2013. You can't use the software anymore to just blast your money site. It doesn't work, it won't work. Um, the second, it's a waste of money. Um, similar blast that you're about to like you're about to see my strategy similar types of tiered link building are gonna cost you anywhere between 20 to 50 bucks um, overall you're gonna save money doing this um, third hatred you are blasting links I just covered that but everybody seems to think that blasting links is a bad thing when you do this properly it's a good thing you're gonna see alright so my current strategy at the top of our our pyramid here, our our strategy, we have our holy grail. That's our money site. Um, second, on our tier one, we have our web twos. Um, you're gonna find a list of the top t um, top ten like web 2.0s right now. They index pretty easy. Um, they work extremely well for just contextual links. On these web twos, you're just gonna build your content. You're gonna drop your links, and all this juice is gonna funnel to those, and that's gonna pass to your money site. Um, tier two is our contextual layer. Here we have articles, social networks, wikis, and web twos. Um, tier three is the exact same, but in tier two we have um, different settings. That I'm gonna show you in the next part of this tutorial. Um, over here on the right side, we have links coming in from the the side in the projects and you'll see what I mean in the um, the setup that I show. So just an overview, um, I have hatreds, social bookmarks, and my wiki blast. Now this is because I got sick of paying someone to do this. I had something built in order to do this for myself. Um, I'll likely sell this on um, Becker's source market likely, so you can buy it there if you'd like. Um, if not, you can buy this somewhere else. Um, and then on the bottom I have a kitchen sink and then for those of you that don't know what a kitchen sink is um, it's just essentially garbage just the garbage links that you want coming in from the side instead of going straight to the tiers um, so we have a kitchen sink with a hundred outbound links and bad word filtered so shit like sex um, for instance shit um, porn pharma keywords all that stuff and a hundred outbound links just to filter any like sites that are spammed a lot and you're not going to see any sort of um, link pushing from. In the tier 2 and tier 3 kitchen sinks I have no settings um, in them or bad words because I've just never seen a difference. Um, I like the outbound link percentages, the, um, the bad words, I've never seen a difference to those so I don't use them. Now, what you're going to need for this, um, obviously you're going to need GSA, and you're going to need a CAPTCHA solver. So GSA, the owner, um, has a software called CAPTCHA Breaker, and here I write CAPTCHA Sniper is garbage, fuck your crack version, because everybody, again, that says the software doesn't work always just skims on it, like they aren't paying what they need to pay. Um, they, they look for alternatives to CAPTCHA Breaker, so... Capture Sniper is cracked on several forums. Um, I'm not promoting um, this software. I'm just saying it's garbage in comparison to Capture Breaker, even the legitimate version. Um, you're going to need private proxies. Now, anybody that's wasting their time right now with public proxies, again, those are probably the people that are saying the software doesn't work, are probably scraping public proxies, um, scanning them, adding them to GSA because they're Google Pass and everything and they don't work a minute later because everybody's using them any any proxy that you're scraping everybody else can scrape because it's public now you're gonna need a content creator um, I use WAC so wicked article creator it works just fine it's pretty cheap um, you're gonna need a VPS or a dedicated server this is just for 
running the software 24-7 because you don't want to run up your electricity bill because you're running the software. And optional are linkless. These are just a, a supplement to your GSA because you're going to be scraping Google and other various search engines to find links to post to. And link lists are already verified and they already are known to post to and are allowed and work. Um, okay, this is the first part of this tutorial. In the second part, I'm going to go over the settings. Um, so be sure to check that out. Again, this is Dylan from AffiliateHustle.com and I'll see you then.